Ask Reddit by Elsie Kilgore. What is absolutely worth paying someone else to do? Movers. After a certain age, beer and food isn't enough to help move everything from one home to another. Totally. When I move I make sure there's a lease overlap of at least a week. Spend 6 days with the van or big car taking boxes and smaller stuff over, then pay some people to move the big and heavy stuff. If they are only moving several pieces of furniture it's quick and cheap. Cleaning your septic tank out. During pandemic we got ours cleaned for the first time in 8 years of owning the house. Guy said you use a different company in the middle? Nope, this is the first time in 8 years we are getting it emptied. He looks at us, looks in the tank and says huh, y'all don't shit much do ya? Anything that involves crawling under the house. Or in the roof. Major electrical work. And plumbing. Replacing the spring on the garage door. That can be lethal if you don't know what you're doing. Everything you hate or suck at. Painting is both of those for me. Dog nails and anal gland expression. My dog had a bad experience once and now he won't let anyone get close to his nails. His feet are fine but once you go for nails all hell breaks loose. Moving. This a million times over. I'm too old for that shit and I'm not even old. I'll pay someone gladly to do it for me. Cutting down trees. I'm too old to go climbing up a huge oak tree with a chainsaw. Why don't you fall it as a whole? Surgery. I bought a home surgery kit. It was called Suit Yourself. Roofing. I was looking for this. My dad retired a couple years ago and he had a list of things he wanted to accomplish. A new roof was one of those things. I love him to death but he is one of those guys who never wants to spend money on something he can do himself. But by himself he thought I was going to take off work for a week and my cousin and uncle were going to take off work to help him take off the old shingles and put in the new ones. It ended up taking like 2 weeks to finish, in the heat, and I was like just pay a company the money and this could take in a crew of professionals, a day maybe two. I mean. I don't even work construction or anything I am freaking librarian I didn't know how to shingle a roof and my cousin is an accountant. It sucked, if I ever have a house I need to replace a roof on it will absolutely be worth the money to pay a pro. If you live with someone else, a house cleaner. Unless one of you loves cleaning so much it's like a hobby, it will reduce stress and friction among those you live with. Even if there aren't outright fights. In my experience, often there is silent resentment from the person who does most of the cleaning. And there is almost always one person who does most of the cleaning. If you dispute this and think it's perfectly 50 stroke 50 with your partner or roommate, then it's the other person. Dude. I just moved out of a house where a 50 year old child lived. As he was moving and he was very chipper when he told me that when the tub backs up to clean his hair out of the drain. I knew then. And I was right. Dude fucking suhalohalohuakt. Massages. This is my favorite treat yourself activity. I live with chronic pain so a massage is heavenly. Edit, vice. Maids. I rent and my landlord starting charging us $50 for a maid service every other week. A lot of friends try telling me it's a waste of money but their house is normally dirtier than mine and they have a cleaning day. $50 is hella cheap. You don't wanna know what I pay every week. Anything to do with heights. Cleaning service. Worth it each month. I do this for a living. The joy that people get from me doing this makes me love what I do. Really anything that you value your own time too much to do. Almost everything we buy is us paying someone else to do that thing for us. There was a guy who made a chicken sandwich completely by himself, growing wheat and making bread, 
raising the chicken and slaughtering it. Apparently it wasn't that good or worth the effort. Cleaning rain gutters a couple times a year. Making tamales. Making tamales can be fun if you line up all the family members and make an assembly line. Many hands equals light work. Kids birthday party. You're fucking nuts if you want 15 5 year olds at your house fucking shit up. See you at the trampoline park. This. When our oldest turned 4, my husband was against spending the money on a party place. We had a party at our house. Yeah. Great idea. Needless to say, didn't do it again, for either kid, until we let them have a sleepover for their 10th birthday. Pets Control and Exterminator Service Landscaping. My god, I hate pulling weeds and trimming an overgrown garden. With my allergies and sensitive skin, it's even more of a disaster. Dude, yeah, but I'm the opposite. I love pulling weeds and clearing out overgrown areas. It just feels right. I have no allergies, and even though I'm English and Irish, I never get sunburned, even here in South Texas. I'm so glad people will pay me to do it. Haircut. Tried once in COVID beginning. And yeah it's better if someone else does it. Hairstylist approved. Anything that you're pretty sure you'll fuck up if you do it yourself. Garage door work that involves the spring. It is really telling that this is twice in top 20. Sheetrock. I'll build a house from ground up, but F sheetrock. Deleted. Weird fetishes, obviously. Roofing. A new roof's worth of shingles weighs a ton and a pro has a very handy machine to scoot it all up there all easy like. Plus the fall risk, all the bending over. Yeah, no thanks. Take my money. Your legal work. House cleaning. I don't have to spend my precious weekends cleaning. I just have the housekeeper come in. To be the executor of your will. Buying freshly made, authentic birria tacos. Plumbing or electrical. Moving. Seriously, put out the money for movers. Anything that you can hire out to do for less than you earn unless you find it enjoyable. I used to think like this, then I realize that I don't get paid in my free time. Honestly anything, literally anything, that meets the following criteria. They have experience doing it. You do not have experience doing it. You have no desire to learn how to do it. You can afford it. This goes double if it is something that likely won't have to happen more than once. Move in your furniture if you're over 30. The potential backache is just not worth it anymore. Murder. Painting. Painting your room sucks. Laying down sheets so it doesn't drip on the floor, taping edges and moldings, and worse of all, painting the ceiling. My back aches just remembering. Shit's way too expensive, I'd rather do it ourselves. Ain't that bad when you have done it a few times. I'm also tall though. Any roof work. Strangely, I've had three friends die within the last 10 years from roof falls. Including former Nevada Governor Kenny Ginn. Renovate your home. You are not Joanna Gaines. Let the pros handle it. Neither is Joanna Gaines she's probably got a team of 300 subs.